money. I've been getting a lot of requests for doing a makeup look, like a day to night makeup look. So we're going to go through um, how to switch your makeup from a nice day look to maybe you only have a few minutes in the car and you're going on a date or you're going to dinner or you've been traveling and you want to up your look when you get somewhere. So we're going to show you a fast way to do that. So basically we're going to start, you can just do your foundation like normal and you can watch my video on how to, um, how to apply basic flawless foundation. And then what we're going to start with is a neutral all over color. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and you can use, um, if you want to use a paint pot, you can go ahead and prime your eye with that. Um, I like these soft ochre is a really nice color if you want more of a yellow and you have more yellow tones. Or painterly is good, it's got a little more pink in it. So if you're a little more pink tone, you can use that. And what this does is just put a layer on your skin that helps the makeup adhere to it better. So it's just going to stay on longer and um, usually you can do it with concealer too, but this is an easy, fast, no-brainer kind of step. So we're going to take our kind of neutral color, and that is the wrong palette. We will, there we go. So I'm going to use these guys on the side. So brulee, uh, blank type, uh, naked lunch if you want a little shimmer, or any nude color. I'm going to use a brulee all over because it's one of my favorites. And we'll just do some, just then just work it right up to your eyebrow bone. Up to your eyebrows right there. And then you can take another kind of neutrally red-brown color, or um, this is Copper Plate from MAC. You could use Omega, um, any kind of neutrally brown color. And we're just going to go right in here. And I forgot to zoom in, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, we're going closer and closer. There we go. We can get even closer. So we're going to take this with our kind of fluffy angled brush, and I'm just going to work it right into the corners and towards the lash line and up into the crease right there. So we'll do the same thing on this side. And then gently just kind of blend it out towards this triangular shape out towards this, the corner of your eyebrow. We'll do the same thing over here. Blend that out that way. And little circles are the best way to blend. Think of like when you were a kid and you were coloring and like the little circles would make the best color. So we're going to spread this all over. And we'll do that just a little teensy tiny bit. Now this is the part where you can either get a black, you can use gray. Um, I'm going to use gray utility. This is from MAC. So any kind of gray liner will work too. And we're just going to softly, I, I want to get this the which way to go soon. And then I'm just going to gently Gently just keep the skin taut, not really pull, just hold the skin still and work our way in towards the inner corner. Like that. We're going to start with this side. Gently hold it. You're not pulling, you're just holding the skin taut so the pencil doesn't rip and make little wrinkles. And gently work our way in. Now you can take a blender brush, you can take your Q-tip, you could take your finger, you could take whatever you want to kind of soften that up. And these colors are going to look universally pretty on everybody. Grays, browns, those colors work on every skin tone. So now you can take a gray shadow or you can take black. I like carbon from MAC or I like print, which is an awesome gray. And um, where is my print? Okay. So I'm just going to take my little smudgy brush and I'm going to just go right on top of where we just went with the liner because when you apply the powder it's just going to lock it in and make it stay in place really well. And just soften up the line of where you just put that on and just blend it onto the edges just a little. So we're just going to go right above and just kind of soften that up a little bit. You can work it into the crease just a little if you want to too. And if you want to, you can take that gray and just go right underneath the eye, too. Just to create a little dramatic effect. So we're just going to kind of go up. And, mostly we're just blending in this crease right here. So you can take this brush again with that medium color, whether it's a brown or a, or a taupey color, and just soften up again. And this may seem like a lot of steps, but the more blending you do, the more beautiful your eye makeup is going to look. And all it does is take... What did that take? Like another couple seconds, so nothing too bad. Um, this is something I can do. You can add this for the night step. You can take your black liner like Smolder and we'll gently line the inner rims of the eyes. This just adds a little bit of pop without having to do too much work. You could just see the difference kind of already made. And then we are going to, you can do your eyebrows really fast and you can use um, any kind of brown 
Um, Omega is a good color for blondes. I like cork for brown. Um, for darker brown-haired peoples. And just go from this corner to the top arch, down to a point, and go from the bottom too, and blend up everything in between. And that gives you a pretty fast eyebrow definition. It just adds a little something extra that really makes your face pop and makes uh, makes a difference. That you wouldn't think it does, but it does just a little bit. So there's our eyebrow look. Um, then you can curl your lashes, and we will do that and put mascara on. But since you guys know how to do that, I'll put it on and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're back with mascara. We're going to do some fast cheek color. And for daytime, I like a really fresh, dewy look. So I'm going to take Posey from MAC, just this hot pink cream blush color. And I like the creams for daytime. And we're going to hit right here. So if we smile, these are going to be the center highlight areas that we want to look really young and youthful and peachy and pinky. And the more pink and peach and color you see in your skin, the more youthful and dewy the look is. So we're just going to kind of pat and press and rub that in. And then I do like to use a bit of a highlighter. And these are, again, just steps that take just a couple seconds more, so it's nothing too crazy. This is Golden Bronze from MAC, and I love this. It gives your skin the most dewy, beautiful look. And you're just going to hit right up here under the cheekbone, so right below the eye, like if you go to the corner of the nose, up here, right here in this line below the eyes where you're going to hit, right here. And it's so, so pretty. I don't know how well it's going to show up in my lighting, but it's the most beautiful, glowy look. I just love it. You can kind of see the highlight. And you can even go under the eyebrows so you get a little shimmer and highlight up there. Now we're going to do um, we're gonna do the lips. And one of my favorite neutral colors is Soar from MAC. It's like just a pinky color or Bure in their pencils too. So we're going to draw this on. And just a fast little... And just fill it in. I'm a little crazy right there. And just go fill down the lip. And liner just, it takes hardly any time, but it makes the biggest difference. So for day, I like really neutral, neutral lips. So I'm just going to color this in. I'm sorry. You can hear my phone ringing in the background. I forgot to turn the volume off. That's great. And if you want to do gloss, um, these are some of my favorite colors. Luminary and Floor Abundance is another one. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the luminary. And I used Blankety Lip Gloss, which is like a nude, nude pinky color. So here's our fast day look. Now say you want to up it a little more for nighttime. Now we can glam it up a little bit more, and I'll show you how to do that with your eyes. So basically, when I take in my makeup bag, whenever I go anywhere, I, take, I always take my smolder pencil, more mascara, and I take print or carbon eyeshadow, which is black or gray, because those can amp up any color. So um, what you can do, now that you see this color that we have, is I'm going to zoom in and I'll show you. Um, this is just a pretty basic light um, kind of gray, or you could use brown eye. Now we're going to amp this color up just a little bit. So we're going to take our smolder. And I'm just going to go over the area that I just did with the gray. And you can use any black. Smolder is a really soft coal pencil. And sometimes if you're new at doing eyeliner, it's a little sloppy or messy to use. You can already see the difference that this is making. And so I'm just going to show you what I would do if I have my little makeup bag with me. And how we would amp up our color. Okay. Then we're going to go here and line a little more. Do another coat of this. And then I always take um, a couple brushes with me in my bag. And I take like a fluffy, a fluffy, I was going to say flat angled brush, <laughs> or one of these kind of flat brushes like this. An angled brush will work too. And then sometimes I like to take um, like a blender brush. Usually I'll take like the angled brush and a fluffy brush with me in my purse so I have those kind of things to work with. So I'll show you if we get our black, like this, I'm just going to take this flat brush that we have and I'm just going to go over the black that I just put on to make it have some last power. Because the last thing you want is black eye makeup smearing all over the place. So we're just going to pat this on 
And no matter what your skin color is, whether you're fair, you're, you're dark, you have brown eyes, blue eyes, the black is going to work universally well. So then I'm just going to take in this corner right here where you can see, I'm just going to pat in this corner in this little V shape right here. And you're just going to gently blend like that. And it can look a little crazy right now, but we're going to fix it. And again, in this corner, we're just going to go up into the crease. If you don't have a crease, just make a shape going up like that. I'll show you. I'm going to go up onto my, the bone right here above my eye. That's not my crease, but I'm going to show you if you're just creating the illusion of one. You're just going to go up and up and over, just pretty much like a rainbow shape. Like that. I'm going to zoom out just a little so you guys can see fully what I'm doing. Well, I still have the black in here. I'm going to go right into the lash line and just kind of smudge this down and go in towards the corners too. So again, this is a look if you just want to throw a couple things in your purse, in your makeup bag, and then you can amp it up because usually at night the colors are always darker and so it looks a little, a little different. So I'm going to take a, our medium gray and I'm just going to kind of go over that corner that we just did and blend that whole crease area that we just did as well. And it's just going to soften all the colors right up. Let me zoom in a little more so you guys can see. And you can see how it looks kind of messy and not finished, so we're just going to go over with the gray. And when you go over it, you're using the color that's there, plus the color that you just added to blend with. So it's going to make for this really beautiful, beautiful soft look. And then sometimes if you want to fit it in, that's the wrong direction. Um, it's nice to punch up your color with a little blush at night. So I'll show you how we can do that. And blunt is my favorite, um, it's my favorite cheek color pretty much of all time because it's like a perfect matte bronze color. And um, this is it right here. And then you're just going to want to hit these areas back here by your cheek. So pretty much from like where your eye comes down, hit that back to this corner right here. And that's going to give like a, the, a great illusion of cheekbones. You don't want to go too far forward or it's going to look kind of 80s. I'll go maybe to the center right where your pupil drops down right there. And then for night, if you want to amp up your lips, I'm a fan of nude lips all the time. So um, I'll just show you a couple darker versions and we're going to block some of this color off. And now we can take, um, even if you still have that same sore color, I'm going to show you how we can darken that up. So we're going to go right where we just did before and I'm going to fill your whole lip in with this sore color and this is going to make it darker than just the nude color. So you can either leave it matte like this for more of a dramatic look or you can add some gloss to it. Any um, any gloss you have. I'm going to use this darker, there's kind of like this darker reddish color here. So I'm just, this is my own personal lip gloss, so I'm using my finger. And I don't know, this is from Too Faced, it's just like kind of a burgundy shimmer, but in the set that I got it with, and I could use my lip brush too. Um, it doesn't have a name. So this is pretty much your day to night look. And it's pretty fast, so you could do this in the car, just amp things up a little bit. You can add even more pink blush, whatever you want. And I always add a couple more layers of mascara too, because it comes off during the day. So you want to make sure you get these inner corner guys right here. And then I do the tops and bottoms of the lashes. And then these outer corners, because that's what's going to give you the illusion of like uh, false eyelashes on. And then coat this guy. Top and bottoms, do the outer corners, and never forget your bottom, guys. And just pat them on. Get these inner corners, too. And there is your beautiful day-to-night makeup look. I hope you guys like it, and I hope it'll help you on your next date or anything you're going to where you need to switch it up a little bit. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.